Hello Taurus, welcome back to Fantasy Lighthouse. In this reading, we're going to be taking a look at your new love. To book your private reading, all of that info is below. Please follow me on Instagram. Please check out Femacy's Artist Spotlight. Right now I have Springfield, Massachusetts artist Boston. Hit the description box below. You're going to find a link there that's going to take you to Boston's music page. Please share, comment, and subscribe. All right, so let's take a look at new love coming in for Taurus. What is the sign of this person when it comes to new love coming in for Taurus? Talk to me about the sign of this person. All right, so we have the Eight of Swords. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right, tell me more about the Eight of Swords when it comes to new love. Talk to me about the Eight of Swords when it comes to new love. All right, the Four of Swords, even more Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. So it seems like this is someone who's very intellectual, who really puts thought into whatever it is that they give their energy to. Obviously, this is not someone who's impulsive. I feel like with the Eight of Swords, this is somebody who could be behind bars for some of you. Um, just because someone has been to jail does not mean that they are a terrible person. You can come out, reinvent yourself, and reintegrate, really. So with this Eight of Swords energy, this is someone who has felt confined for a very long time. They've been uh, in their mind, probably in isolation, okay? So you probably haven't heard much of them if you guys just been talking here and there. But, you know, I definitely feel that they're interested right, with their energy coming out twice. So if you're dealing with a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius, then I feel that they just need some space right now. Uh, if you haven't heard from this person, I feel like this is an energy that's coming towards you, someone who may seem like they're not interested when they really are, but it's because of some sort of confinement that they've been through mentally, all right? So tell me more about this new love. We have a lot of sword energy. Talk to me about this new love coming in. All right, so the seven of pentacles, they're interested in where this can go, but obviously this is someone who is starting from the ground up, as you can see there, okay? And I feel like you're willing to assist this person because I don't think that they're starting from the ground up materially. I think it's more, you know, their life experiences and love is all about, you know, helping each other heal. And so I feel like you both will be healing each other because obviously with the Four of Swords, this is an image of someone who's meditating. So this person may be into spirituality as well. Okay, Spirit, tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles. Talk to me about this Seven of Pentacles for Taurus when it comes to new love. Talk to me about this Seven of Pentacles energy. All right, so we have the Five of Cups. Yeah, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like you come into this person's life and you just take them out of this depression that they've been in. This person is very sad here with the Five of Cups energy. Why are they so sad? Spirit, please talk to me about the Five of Cups when it comes to this new love coming in for Taurus. Why are they so sad? Because of the Five of Pentacles. So there could be a lack of money. This could be them feeling left out by family members. Um, they may be having some sort of problem with the mother or the father of their children. Okay, tell me more about the Five of Pentacles for this person. All right, we have the Five of Wands. Yeah, so um, they feel like they're being attacked by all of these energies at once. Five of Wands is a card of conflict, you know, people trying to compete, gossip. So that's everything that they're going through. All right. But I feel like you're going to be willing to hear them out. All right. Tell me more about this new love. The Four of Wands. Yeah. So eventually you get to that 
stable place with this person. As you can see, we have two energies there and they're walking into the green, the green, emerald green, especially being your birthstone, right? So I feel like after all of these discussions and after all of the healing, you and this person are able to just take the relationship to the next level, which is the goal. The goal is the four of wands, the house, living together, building partnerships, business together as well. Since obviously I feel like money is a concern for them here with the five of pentacles. All right, tell me more about this new love coming in for Taurus. Tell me more about this new love, all right, the five of swords energy. So they have felt very betrayed by a lot of people in their life, okay? They've always felt like they've had to have this guard up, okay? Which is why they like to stay to themselves a lot. They love their privacy. And sometimes I feel like you're gonna take that as them not being interested. They are interested. It's just, you know, you're talking about a wounded warrior here. All right. And each sign deals with things differently. And um, even as individuals, we just handle the way that people have hurt us in different ways. And I just feel like you're able to overcome that at this time. It's like you're in the position to be strong enough to give the advice that this person needs. All right, because even though I feel like the both of you need healing, Taurus, I feel like you're ahead in that process. You know, this person needs encouragement. They need someone to believe in them again. And that's truly how love is born sometimes, you know, when you find somebody that has faith in you and that uh, encourages you to keep going. So... We have the king of pentacles. There you are, right? So you're showing up, investing your time. I don't feel like this is much of money. I just feel like just you listening to this person is worth everything, okay? You know, they just need somebody to talk to. They need somebody to listen, all right? Tell me more about... New love for Taurus. Talk to me about this new love. We have the strength card with Leo energy. So you definitely are going to be building something very special with this person. You know, we don't have one lion in this picture. We have two lions. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is what you both turn into. It's just, you know, together you guys are even more powerful. You know, I just feel a lot of commercial business that's gonna happen because I'm just getting this energy of two people that come together and start to just open all these different businesses all over the place. You know, there's a skill, there's a talent that you guys have, there's ideas that you have had, Taurus, and then when you come together with this person, it's just gonna get even better. And I've been telling you that around the fall time, you know, October, um, especially Libra season, I feel like things really start to pick up. And I feel that that is around the time where you and this person begin to emerge, basically. All right, tell me more about new love for Taurus. The Four of Cups. I feel bad for this person. Like, why in the world? Look at this. Sometimes, you know, new love does start like this, you know? I feel that since you are known as a therapist, the Hierophant is a therapist, a counselor, the priest, you know, you're in a position to really uplift people especially those who have mental health issues, you know? And I feel like this person is obviously going through that. Tell me more about, all right, the Queen of Wands, fire energy, okay? Why do we have the Queen of Wands here? Spirit, please talk to me about this Queen of Wands. Hmm. Okay. The Two of Cups 
And then we have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, so, you know, I just feel like with this Queen of Wands energy, I don't really feel like it's somebody else. I feel like you're embodying this Queen of Wands energy, right? The star right on top of you. You see how the sunflower is right above her. You know, she's in charge. She is taking control. She has power. Not that you're taking power over this person or you're trying to overtake them or overturn them. None of that. I just feel like you're strong enough to be able to deal with everything that you're going through and to assist someone else emotionally, primarily emotionally. You know, I'm not talking about with your money. It's more about how this person feels. You're strong enough to be able to be there because of how you're recovering right now from what you've been through. So it's like someone else needs to hear your story. And I feel like that's how you and this person fall in love. That's really what I'm getting here. Okay? Because obviously we do have the two of cups that came out here as a confirmation. Now, let's get one more card. Let's get one more card here. The six of pentacles. Perfect. This is balance. All right? This is equilibrium. This is success together. This is justice. All right. And then at the bottom of the deck here, we have the nine of cups with Pisces energy. This is wish fulfillment. All right. So your new love is looking really good here. I know that um, your person seems like they're very depressed, but I feel that um, this is the way that you guys are going to emerge or re-emerge, you know what I mean? Your new person could be someone from your past too. You know, it's just you guys never took it to this level. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out for you guys. I wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you so much for watching. To book your private reading, all of that info is below and take care.